Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI um, in the totally random game. Um, this is more of a chilled out game. I've been a little bit stressed out. Uh, I also did a workout, and I'm like, my arms are hanging off me, and I'm like, just too tired and miserable to really play a game properly on duty. So we're just going to do a chilled out Emperor game. I added some new mods, and we're going to talk about this. This is the game setup. We're going to talk about how the game and all its setups. Uh, so we'll go through our list of mods here. The first mod is Wondrous Wonders. This is a new mod that we've added. It basically adds national wonders to the game. It changes up some of the wonders. Uh, for example, I think the Terracotta Army gives you an extra unit if you build a unit in that city instead of allowing archaeologists. And I think Petra allows archaeologists to enter people's territory without open borders. It kind of changes stuff. Um, and adds national wonders, which are a lot of fun. We'll talk about those when we when we run into them. I've also added good goody huts because I think that can be a lot of fun to just get more and better goody huts that can add a bit of excitement to the game. Um, so there's that. Then I've also added Sucretax resources. This is another resource mod. It adds a few extra resources like the past few, couple of pasta resources, a quarry resource, uh, another uh, another mine resource, another camp resource and another fishing boat resource. So it's like a you know, cute little addition to the game. And I also installed Expanded Initial Vision, which will give you more vision at the start of the game so you can better choose your start location. So I think that would be a lot of fun to play this kind of game. And then we've got the usual ones that we've had in the last couple of series. We've got the Civitas Resource Expanded, that adds a bunch more resources as well. Uh, then we've got the City States Expanded, so we've got a bunch of cities, extra city states. Uh, I will be hopefully playing with those. Then we've got uh, Sucretax Grand Canyon, Sucretax Great Blood Hole, Blue Hole, Blood Hole, uh, Sucretax Tron Lake Sap, Sucretax Fuji, uh, Terra Mirabilis, which makes changes to all the natural wonders. Uh, we've got Quick Start, which isn't a really big thing. And then we've got Steel and Thunder, both expansions that the uh, developer, the mod maker made. And then we've got Production Cube, Map Tax, Sucretax Simple UI Adjustments, and yet not another map pack. These are all fairly straightforward mods. I won't spend too much time talking about them. But uh, yeah. What I actually might do here is I might make these into a uh, collection, but I'll, I'll, I'll see about that. But these are the mods that I'm using. So let's jump right into... Oh, hello. My screen has gone black. Give me a moment here while I fix that. And it should be back. Okay, so we're going to jump in here and we're going to create a game. I'm going to be playing on Emperor difficulty, just a little bit more of a chilled out game, playing on standard speed. I am actually kind of enticed by the idea of playing an epic game speed on Emperor. This is going to be a more chilled out series. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go up to a large map size, but we're going to remove two players and instead add a few extra city states. So that should help make the game a little bit more interesting. Uh, we're going to be playing on a fractal map because this is the random map game and we're going to be doing random world we are going to be just a normal start position balance i'm kind of tempted by legendary because that could add a bit of randomness and fun to it i'm going to add random 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 so everything is random so nothing in this game is known everything is going to be weird and different i will just for the sake of saving this random save this as the random Type. I don't know what save I'm going to be playing, but we will have a look. And we are playing... From the first Arabia. Ooh, I haven't played Arabia in a while. I really like Arabia. They have some pretty interesting bonuses. They can also kind of go for uh, pretty much any victory type they feel like. The Madrasa is extremely powerful because you can get your university just so quickly. Um... Automatically receive a final great profit. That's cool. Plus one science for each foreign city following your religion. And a unique land unit and a unique land unit. We'll talk about those once we're in game and we'll also talk about the Madrasa. But yeah, I think uh, I think we might go for some sort of faith game. At the very least, we'll get a guaranteed religion at some point. Which should be pretty exciting. Uh, Steam notifications. I thought I turned you off. Okay, so let's have a look at this map. Ooh, interesting. Okay, knowledge of astrology has advanced considerably. That means we must have found a natural wonder. And indeed we did. Hmm. Hmm. Do I move to it? Let's see. Let's 
All right, I'm just going to mute Steam. Like, Steam is just so annoying. I, I, I have it set to mute, but... Like, notifications. Don't, I don't want sounds. Thank you. I, I like, I... <sighs> okay. All right, so... Sorry about that. That Steam is being obnoxious. We... I want to settle up near this, but I also want to... Um, let's actually look up the Grand Mesa here real quick so we can see what it actually does. Grand... Mesa. So the Grand Mesa ow, uh, gives is a one tile impassable natural wonder adjacent plots yield plus one food and plus one culture. So this would be a fun one to settle beside. I don't know if that's what we'll do, but uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This is the game setup. This is the game we're going to be playing and I'm going to save it here. And then I'll see you in the first proper episode. Thank you very much for watching. I love you all very much and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.